Hello, everyone. My name is Laura, and welcome to Extraordinary Adventures. I am here today to talk to you about what's actually included in your cruise fare. So at the very end, when you've booked and they've told you, okay, it's going to be this price, what does that actually include? And to be very honest, the what's included varies wildly depending on which cruise line you've booked. Um, if you've booked one of the mass market cruise lines like Carnival, Royal Caribbean, MSC, um, those are going to basically include uh, your room where you're sleeping. It includes your food, not all restaurants because some are specialty restaurants for a fee, but they are definitely going to include food, several different restaurants where you can eat. Uh, and they're also going to include um, most of your non-alcoholic beverages. They usually include water, juice, coffee, tea, iced tea, lemonade. Um, if you wanted anything additional uh, like um, sodas or like a virgin pina colada or a virgin strawberry daiquiri, those they're not going to include. But your basic drinks, they are going to include. Um, also, you uh, get access to like the pools, you get access to the theaters and the dance clubs. Um, so you get access to a lot of different things, the gym also, uh, but you don't um, get everything that's on the ship. Um, for example, if they have like an arcade, the arcade may be a pay for arcade. Um, if they have um, certain experiences like an escape room, what have you, that might be an additional charge. So you're not going to get all of the entertainment included in your cruise fare, but you're going to get a lot of things that are included in your cruise fare. Um, and then there's the next level up, um, which we generally like to call like affordable luxury. Um, and those often include um, your gratuities, uh, which would not be included in the most most often they're not included in the mainstream cruise lines. You generally have to pay for those. But on this uh, this next level, they're generally included. Um, usually your Wi-Fi is included as well, as well as like uh, your beverage packages are often included. So it's more of an all-inclusive experience. Uh, often there are still charges for like specialty restaurants um, and things like that, but uh, it's definitely more of an all-inclusive nature. And then as you keep going through the different levels of cruise lines, um, you get to some different cruise lines that literally like will include almost everything. They'll pick you up at your house. Um, they'll take you from your house to the airport. They'll include the flight. Uh, they'll include the transportation from that other airport to the cruise ship. They'll sometimes include all of your excursions as well. Or if they don't include the excursions, they'll include like transportation from the cruise ship to like the actual port, the destination. So you can go and explore on your own and then bring you back to the cruise ship. Um, they'll include just so many different things. Uh, so it really depends on uh, what you're looking for. Uh, and different people want different things. Like for example, if you're not a big drinker, um, you're not going to, some people don't want a cruise line that includes all of the alcohol in their package because they feel like that might raise the price of the cruise line for them, uh, especially if like they don't drink. So they feel like they're paying more for services that they're not using. So they would prefer a cruise line that, that doesn't do that so that they, if they don't drink, they're not paying for extra services that they're not using. Uh, whereas other people are like, I don't want to be nickeled and dimed. Like, I don't want to have to pay. Like, I think this is the price of the cruise. And when then I add on, you know, my gratuities and I add on my Wi-Fi and I add on my drink package and then it becomes this price. Like, just tell me what the price is and it includes everything. So different people have different needs and different wants. And because of that, that's why it's so important to speak to a professional who knows all the differences between the different cruise lines. And you can be like, hey, this is what I'm looking for. What do you think is the best cruise line for me? And I could actually then go ahead and make that recommendation for you. So it's really important to speak to someone who really knows what they're talking about. And I would love to help you. So feel free to reach out to me if you are interested. Uh, but if you're not, I still hope that this uh, video was helpful to you. And if it was, please like and uh, subscribe with the notification bell on so you can hear more of what we have to say. But uh, I guess that's it for now. Bye, guys.